question is Russia adjacent about detainees last week. Sure. So if you want to, okay. Sure. Um, one is there were conflicting characterizations of whether Asukur Masheva was in fact um, officially designated as wrongfully oh. detained. Can you clarify whether she was or not? Before she was. Release? She was designated as wrongfully detained. When did that happen? Uh, it happened last week, uh, okay. shortly in the days before she was returned home. Okay, and the family of Mark Fogel uh, in legal proceedings against this department has argued that had he been designated as wrongfully detained, it would have also led to his release. Do you have any comment on that? So I'm not going to um, uh, speak to questions that involve ongoing litigation for reasons uh, I think you can understand, but I will speak to this issue in general. First of all, with respect to Mark Fogel, we are working to try to secure his release. We work to try to secure his release as part of this deal, uh, and we're unable to. But we continue to call for his release, and we continue to work to secure his release. And I think, let me just point to the events of last week to talk about our record, because I have a number of times um, stood up here and been pressed why we haven't designated certain individuals as wrongfully detained. I think Alex asked me two weeks ago about the wrongful designation of uh, Alsu Kermasheva, and I think asked me, you know, are we not designating her as wrongfully detained because she's a woman or because she's a Muslim? It's obviously not true, as I said at the time. And the point I made is we were, when we say that we are working to get someone's release, we mean it. And our record backs it up. And sometimes, we are working to obtain their release when they have officially received a wrongful de uh, detention determination. Sometimes there are other individuals who we say we're working to uh, secure their release, and they never receive that determination. A great example is Vladimir Karamurza, who was not determined by this department to be wrongfully detained, but yet we were still able to secure his release uh, last week. So let me just point to something the secretary said in the statement he released um, on Thursday when this news became public. And that's that he knows, he had a lot of difficult conversations, as you would imagine, right, with the families of those who have been uh, wrongfully detained and others who have been detained overseas over the past couple of years. And he can certainly understand that there were times that they worried that our efforts would not bear fruit. But we know they never gave up hope, and we didn't give up hope, and we continued to work to secure all of their release, and that is true with Mark Fogel, and that's true for every American who is wrongfully detained overseas. I, I certainly understand, and I'm not a lawyer for the family, that you know it's not maybe a prerequisite a, a requirement for uh, an American to be released, but it is a fact that three out of the four Americans in this case were designated as wrongfully detained, and, and that led to their release, as was Brittany Griner. So, just if there's anything else you want to say to the Fogel family at this particular time. So point. I would say to the family, as you've heard from others in the administration, that we continue to be committed to securing his release, and we continue to work on it, something that, that we think about every day. And the same thing that we said to the family of Paul Whelan, when Brittany Griner was returned, and we had tried to get Paul Whelan out as part of that deal, and it just simply wasn't, it wasn't on the table. It wasn't on the table as part of that deal. And we made clear to Paul, and we made clear to his family that we had not forgotten him, and that we would continue to work on his release, and that was true, and ultimately we were able to get him home. The same thing is true with Mark Fogel. We continue to work on his release. We really wanted to get him out as part of this deal. We're not the only party to the deal, right? Um, and we weren't able to do it, but we continue to work on it. And just with this question of wrongfully detained, not wrongfully detained, um, which we get asked about a lot for very understandable reasons, I would just note that there, are, uh, there is a statutory review that we have to go through that lists certain factors that we have to apply when making the determination about whether someone is wrongfully detained or not. And we go through that, and we have to apply the law rigorously, and that's what we do. Um, but there are others who, for whatever reason, we have not made the determination at any one time. They have not met the statutory criteria. But if there's someone that we say um, that we are working to bring home, you know, like Vladimir Kuramurzo, we're working to bring him home, and hopefully someday we will. Why was Karamaza not wrongfully detained? Um, uh, so, as always, I'm not going to speak to the determination with any one right. individual, but it's we have to go. We go through the statutory criteria with all of them, and add all that up and make a determination based on the facts of their case, based on the law that applies to their case, and based on the requirements of the Levinson Act. Does that all add up to a wrongful determination? And in the case of Alsu Kermasheva, uh, uh, the statutory review. Uh, let us to conclude it did. In the case of Vladimir Karamurza, it led us to conclude that it did not. That said, we still thought he ought to be released. Uh, we still pressed for his release. We were still, still able to get his release. <laughs> uh, designated 
day before or day after? Because uh, it I, I was sometime last week. I don't, I don't, I don't, know I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember the exact date. Sometime last week. But it did not happen before the decision was announced, right? I mean, the issue was released. Because I asked this question last week, and Vedant did not have the answer that she was designated. It, it happened uh, last week, shortly before her release. I'm not going to get into any, any right. further 